So I really wanted to give this brand another go. Ever since ASOS bought them a, around a year ago or so, uh, they finally launched a plus size division. <laughs> Is that the right word? Um, but today we are trying Topshop for the second time on this channel. and thank you for joining me today. Hello if you're new there. I do loads of plus size fashion along with beauty, lifestyle, all that kind of jazz uh, over here on this channel. So I'd absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below, trying to get to 20,000 by the end of the year. So uh, if you'd like to help me achieve that goal, then don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It is free to subscribe. We love that. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell as well, um, where you'll be notified every time I upload, but I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So here I am. <laughs> So um, it's been, well, it's been a hot minute since I did my original Topshop um, video and it was kind of hit and miss. Um, and I did try an individual item from Topshop in recent ASOS haul, um, but I really wanted to give more of Topshop a look at. Um, I don't know about any of you guys, but do you kind of feel like Topshop maybe had its heyday maybe like five years or so ago, like when the shops existed, um, like on the high street, people, I've been watching a couple of TikToks and people have said like, where's the old Topshop gone? Like remembering like the, the girly boxers, the shoes, like the Chelsea boots, the little ankle socks with the lace. I feel like that's disappeared. So knowing what Topshop's identity is now is like, we don't really know, but it's great that ASOS have brought out the plus size range. Um, so I do like testing it out. It's always great to have another place to shop from. So I'll try and link everything down below, of course. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you think. It'd be great to hear as well about what you just think about like top shop in general and like where you think they're gonna head in the future. Like, do you think <laughs> there is much hope for top shop? Do you think they'll kind of uh, rebound from everything um and how do you feel about top shop getting a plus size range is it a little too late um yeah would love to just hear all your thoughts down below in the comments i just think it's kind of like an interesting subject to talk about um and yeah let's go on trying some clothes this is a very edgy dress <laughs> this is definitely a certain type of style i feel like this is something you would have maybe see it like the Brit Awards or something like that. It's very, it's a, it's a certain style. Um, and I really do like appreciate them doing stuff like this because I feel like it's very different from what a lot of other plus size retailers do. Um, I think I got this in a t 26, which I think is a 3XL um, with Topshop. Their sizing is kind of like all over the place in terms of like some things they only go up to like a 24 some things I think go all the way up to 28 I believe not 100% sure but I think this dress is very cool if you've got an occasion for it and it's your cup of tea it is this electric blue like there's like roses but then this is like is it like burn like electric blue pattern with these like chemical burns almost I don't know how to describe it mesh obviously a very slinky dress with a super high slit um but i feel like if you're wearing this dress like this could be a really great going out dress um like if you're going like out to the club <laughs> um i feel like this would be perfect for someone that maybe doesn't want to wear like a mini dress like you want to cover make sure your bum is covered um, but also you don't want to look like you know dressed in a complete maxi and this slit isn't too high like it's not too too high and i would wear some nude tights probably underneath um really like the lettuce um leaf slim there's like lots of really interesting details like there's this seam here um the lettuce trim then you have the seam here going all the way down you have this quite high neckline but it is very stretchy 
but then you've also got these like two slits here so you do have to make sure you don't put your head through these slits um but i really like these slits because they don't show your bra strap but they give you some nice breathability hopefully this is also showing you the print a lot better um this does have like a blue jersey mesh is Zara going to be a way for me to show you that underneath so i feel like this dress is very cool um but yeah again it has to be your style um, and i think you need like an occasion to wear it obviously it's bodycon so you might want to put some shapewear underneath i'm not too too one for shapewear at the end of the day my body's the way my body is so it is what it is um but yeah i really actually like it but i'm not sure where and when i would wear it so i love h&m sweatshirts they are my favorite place to get sweatshirts because they're always like really nice quality cute colors prints etc etc so when i saw that topshop has some um i really wanted to give them a try so this is in a 26 i believe and i normally get my h&m ones in like a 28 like their biggest size um so while this is uh, a size smaller it still is quite nicely sized like it's not tight at all like from what we've had from like river island or boohoo um or new look places like that like it is that nice fit um i will just say though like i'm not a big fan of like i don't think i'm all that the colors and stuff um like i don't know just it just feels a bit dreary really they did have this in like a sage green color that i liked but they were almost completely out of stock and didn't have my size in um but yeah i just hope that they get a bit more colourful for the summer or just in general <laughs> everything's very very like dark <laughs> a little bit dull so here's to hopefully some more brighter pieces um this is like a rubber it's like a like a thick chunky rubber print very unusual a very industrial feeling um and then you've got that kind of it's definitely been like washed if you know what i mean like it's been like pre-washed um is it like acid bleach but if i'm honest like it's already pilling um obviously not what i've just literally taken out of the packet so Mm, i don't know i think i will try their jumpers their sweatshirts again if one comes that i love like the color and like the saying or whatever um but this one is a little bit like it's a, i don't know I just find it a little bit depressing really um, <laughs> i don't know if i was from oklahoma city that i would like to be represented in this way just saying but i do like the sizing and like the the shape and stuff of the sweatshirt so fingers crossed they come out with some more positive vibes i feel like i'm getting catfished by, <laughs> by the photographer that does all the top shop like clothes um <laughs> this looked so cool on the website and was like one of the first things i put in my basket and i just feel like awful in it um, <laughs> I feel like this looks like some it looks like I'm from the mummy. Um this is the worst thing I think I've ever put on. Um, <laughs> it on the website, I don't know what I was thinking was coming, but I just didn't think it was gonna look like this. It's literally like emphasizing the biggest part of me uh, in the most horrific way. <laughs> uh the colour is like dirty dishwater off white going down to this um gradient so i just kind of look like going from black to white to black I don't know. obviously you could totally this is i'm just trying it on with this vest top so this isn't styled um i didn't know what i was thinking <sighs> so it is a mesh skirt very comfortable i will say i did get this in a 26 
because I knew it was going to be, you know, with these types of like straight skirts, they're always like a little bit snug around here, but it is a very stretchy skirt. It's very stretchy, but it's going to be figure hugging. Um, lettuce, I love a lettuce hem. I just think they're so cute. And you've got this mesh over just this like white jersey material. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to say. There's like a tiny little bit of lace, like knicker elastic lace around the hem. It literally looks like something you get on the side of your knickers. Um, yes, I don't really think there's too much more to say about this. I don't like it. <laughs> so watching a couple of TikToks, a couple of people were saying how they used to love Topshop for more of their kind of like essentials, like the t-shirts and stuff. So I was really curious to kind of just try some of the essentials. I am a magpie to like prints and dresses and stuff rather than just like essential things. I really want to try more essentials more often because you know, you can only have so many like fun dresses in your wardrobe, but like good t-shirts and vest tops and stuff like that are something that you know are staples and i don't try them enough so here i am uh, so this is kind of like it's giving muscle tea energy but like fitted um which is quite unusual i do feel what size did i get you in i got this in a 24 26 um so it is quite fitted i, I do like the quality of the fabric it is really, really nice. The only thing to say is, like, I don't know how much of a, an essential this is. I feel like, apart from, like, Joni jeans, apart from, like, certain jean ranges, I feel like Topshop hasn't got back its essentials, like the little girl boxes and, you know, the socks. And I think they used to do a certain type of, um, like, bodysuit that people used to really like. Um, I know there were some like dress styles and stuff. So I've got such an itchy nose from trying all these clothes on. There's a lot of like fibers in the air. Um, so yeah, I feel like because Topshop's merged with ASOS, you no longer, like you don't have like a Topshop website anymore where you could like go to the essentials and stuff because it's all just kind of like just shoved on all together. So, oh my gosh, sorry guys, it's so itchy. So I love the quality um obviously it is a bit more of a shorter length it's kind of between like a crop and a normal length t-shirt um, but i quite like it as more of like a croppy t-shirt because uh, it's not like too too crop yeah the material is really really nice so i'm very very keen to try more top shop kind of staples i will just say though i feel like top shop is not in the market to make oh my god guys <laughs> Um, Topshop's not, oh my god, it's so itchy, I'm so sorry guys, so sorry, just got to give it a really good wiggle, whew, I will say Topshop is definitely not in the market to make flattering plus size clothing, uh, so don't expect to see long line t-shirts and more flattering stuff, I think they're more in the market to make trend led stuff, um, more like quality trend led rather than more fast fashion i feel like that's what they're doing <laughs> who knows uh, but this is really nice it's a really nice um quality material and let me i feel like it is cotton yeah 95 percent cotton five percent elastane so this will be really good in warm weather so yeah i'm definitely gonna try some more of their staples in the future i thought i was gonna love this dress i remember ordering it and pulling it out of the of the bag and I was like wow I think that's gonna look so good and um, but I actually think it's this is too big for me I what I really wanted was these kind of stripe pieces to really emphasize my figure um but it's not it's too loose to be hugging anything um which is kind of, the, the fabric itself is quite heavy um so I feel like because of that 
it's just kind of like hanging a bit funny um so i'm really disappointed because i really thought i was gonna really like this i was imagining myself with some black tights and some boots probably heading more into autumn winter i'm finding a lot of the top shop stuff very wintry still even when i like made sure i searched from like the newest in so interesting to see what they're going to do as we go into summer a bit more because i feel like a lot of their stuff is like very dark like i feel like this is very wintry out um like very wintry dress um it's quite thick as well like it's like a knitted type material um and yeah i wish i had this in a smaller size um to kind of see if i liked it a bit more um it's a cream and black stripe knit it's very cool very different again um with a little kind of um it's quite a high neck um neckline but yeah i thought it was very unusual and had potential to be quite striking um and quite like like figure flattering um it, it is short but not too short like i would wear tights and boots with this but yeah, it's just not giving what I was hoping. And obviously with Topshop, you do pay a premium. Um, and yeah, just not feeling it with this one, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe I should go a size down and see how it looks. What do you guys think? I had this top from Shein. I feel like Shein kind of reminds me of like Voldemort. It's like the fashion brand that must not be named. <laughs> so I had this top from Shein. Um, it was like a tie-dye brown long-sleeved crop top with lettuce trim. I know, guys, I love the lettuce trim. Uh, but it was cropped, and it was really cropped, and I, but I loved it. Um, so when I saw this, I had to pick it up because it was giving me, like, similar energy, but in a way that's a lot more wearable for me. Um, this is really cozy we've got those like really nice exposed seams which are super trendy um and then you've got it is giving that kind of like lettuce leaf edge vibe and it's ribbed i love jersey ribbed material this is just comfy what i really want though is like a little hold my thumb in um, but this is really cute i know the color is like autumn this is for the autumn um and i feel like i wouldn't mind waiting and look like looking after this until the autumn because i really like it i love the length it's really long um and i love long sleeves i think i did get this in a 24 26 as well um it's just it's nice quality um i feel like i would wear and wash this a lot it's really cute you can tuck it into a skirt um you can layer it wear some cute scarves in the winter but that's the thing we should have had this in like pastels where's the lilac where's the sage green i wanted pastels now but i want the brown for autumn so yeah this is cute i would have liked this maybe back in september <laughs> we're in march now so um i like it i like it picasso but I like it Picasso in autumn. But let's come up with some cute colours for spring. I think this is my favourite out of all the dresses. However, I ordered this in a 2X, which they've said is a 2022. Um, so it does fit, but I will say the, the non-stretch slip underneath is crushing my boobs. Um, and it's a little bit snug. Um, however, I do think the dress is fitting well, fine, there's like loads of room. Uh, it is just a slip situation. However, I think we all have plenty of slips at home that we could repurpose, but I don't know why I did. I feel like I didn't order this size. I don't know what's happened there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think out of all the dresses I've tried, this is my favorite. Um, I do really like green on me, but... <laughs> like the clothes are very apocalyptic <laughs> is anyone else getting that kind of vibe like everything kind of got this like hum of like like the neons like the radioactiveness but then it's all kind of grungy as well um it's diff 
different. It's kind of reminded me a lot of like All Saints. Like I, I used to love All Saints. Um, and our store in town closed down. But anyway, <laughs> this has got this like blurred tulip design, um, which is super pretty. Um, let me... It's very unusual. It's very edgy. Um, we've got some kind of um, elasticated mesh, not mesh, chiffon smock details. It's very, very cute, very, very pretty. I think it was probably a lot of money. <laughs> I feel like that is the overall theme. I do actually have a thought about where I would wear this. Um, but I don't know if it's worth the price tag uh, for me to do so. Also, I do think I would want to size up and just make sure I get the slip that fits a bit looser. While this slip fits, like just sitting down and being comfortable and stuff, it's like the dress itself is fine. But yeah, having the slip that would fit for this amount of money, um, yeah, I do think that would be important. Um, so the, the length of the slip is also short as well. So I probably want to wear some like black tights with this maybe. Oh, yeah, I do quite like it. There is something that's like drawing me into it. I think it's quite like whimsical. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else in my tummy then. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a bit undecided. I did get managed to get, I think, 25% off this actually, which was a really good deal. Um, but yeah, on the fence. But I do quite like it. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of today's video. Let me know down below what you thought about everything in the comments. I love to know. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps push it out into the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you've got this far, if you've put up with me for this long, you may as well subscribe. Um, and don't forget to hit the bell as well to be notified whenever I upload. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.